Hello and uh, welcome to uh, Tweezer Thursday with myself, Alan at the Blue Tweezers, and my indefatigable opponent, Patrick Mullen. Say hi, Pat. Um, hi, Pat. Wow. <laughs> In indefatigable. Indefatigable. Yeah, um, indefatigable. It, the the more naval of 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 the uh, uh, the um, listeners and viewers may uh, may note that I'm I'm running through. Uh, one of the class of British aircraft carriers in the Second World War. So we yes. had a Lestrius and Implacable, and now we're the Indefatigable. Um, what I'm just hoping is I'll never have to get too victorious. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes uh, the, the, the British penchant for, um, in, really English penchant for constantly naming after like a adjectives. Uh, yeah. Descriptive adjectives as ship names always, always, it's my least favorite method i prefer yeah. like the black prince yeah you know mm. historical yeah, figures or battles or that you know Ramilly's, uh you know prince of wales is, is that something that you would uh yeah you would aspire to a description of the black prince i don't <laughs> well i don't want to die of the bubonic plague at you know no, age no. 40 i'm, I'm good yeah. with that indeed so uh uh, just uh, just sitting out the tweet at the moment. So just, uh, ah, yeah. David Idlebox here. Yes, excellent. Well, uh, well, yeah. Hi, David. Uh, yes. So today we're going to end up doing a strategic turn, and then uh, which is going to take some time, and then we'll get as far as we can operationally. We're moving into January, February, which is one. It's a two-month operational turn. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, just like we had uh, before we November, December, and um, hopefully everybody can see the screen okay and hear us okay. Um, that's it. So uh, we just need to go through, um, yeah, the strategic turn. So I, there's there's a few more things here. So we've got, I think this is the first term of chips and also fortress surrender. So yes. Uh, uh, so there's a few more bits to go through than we have been before. Uh, right, um, strategic turn. So, um, okay, so we add new units um, to the available units boxes. So uh, uh, that's up on the east map. And, and the dead units can just be moved into available units at this time, correct? Uh, yeah, just shift them out of the way to rebuild them uh, on your... Uh, uh, later on in the turn, uh, in the strategic turn. So, uh, yeah, you can uh, take yours across. You've got some Austrians there, which would be very welcome, I think. Yes, let me, let me sort the dead pile out first. The dead, put the dead here. Give me two seconds. Don't move anything on the east map. Let me just grab my stuff and. Yeah, I'm just I'm just taking my reinforcements over to the box. That's all I'm doing. And then because we. we the funny thing is we sort out all our stuff in two different maps, which is convenient. But, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And these front, sure. Uh, so let me... Hands away from the keyboard. Do that, and let me grab these Austrians. And over to you. Great, okay. So, yeah, I pulled the uh, stuff out there. Let me just sort out sort out my box, shall we say. Um... So the new units are just placed. Uh, yeah, so they're uh, they're available to be put into that box, and it'll be on the new units phase of the next operational turn that you can enter them. Got it. Um, uh, uh, however, I'm sure I've got uh, a little bit careful here. Oh, hang on. I don't know what's happened there. Uh, oh, I think I've mixed stuff up here. Um, let me zoom in. Have a look. Uh, I think I've 
my last term's losses, I think, have got mixed up. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, these are the new ones. Oh, British HQ, that's, that's nice. Uh, I've got some units for the Near East, but I could bring them to Europe. It says, it says E or I on them, and I believe that's... Uh, these are lockers, so I need to take them up here. Uh, so, from the bottom of the box, I've got the reinforcements. I've got some Indians here. Uh, right, and yeah, losses at the top. Okay, yeah, I am uh, actually want to split up those losses while we have the opportunity. Let's see what the losses are. And yeah, and oh, there's a seven. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm all sorted. Uh, right, okay. Um, all the um, all the events uh, labelled to enter this turn are placed in their respective sides of vent pools. Uh, event pool. So, it would be the draw cup. Yes, that's true. But let's look at pieces. Let's go to events. So which of yours come in and which of mine come in? Uh, anything with a C on it, I suppose. OK. So I've got a. I've got a couple of C's here, but they are. I've got a bunch of C's. Near East. Um, so I'll take those anyway. Um, let's put them to the side here. Um, oh no, yeah, the flags on that. Uh, no, that's CP. Uh, I like C. Uh, and do I have any? Yes, I have one near East Sea. Which I guess those get added into the cup when it's actually, act, the theater's activated. You just accumulate them and throw them. Um, yeah, a, a lot of them are kind of one use, uh, the actual events, but there are other kind of combat modifiers, air units and things like that, which are, which uh, you use. Um, wow, there are a lot of events I, in C. I didn't realize, whoa. Yeah, bloody ah, hell. bloody hell. Five, six. Two more. Oh, really? That's quite a lot. Okay. I think those are the Allied Seas. Got G's, Allied and Near East Sea. Not quite sure what we do with the Near East Sea. The Near East isn't actually happening at the moment. I'm putting them aside, and whenever the Near East starts, just they'll all get plopped in there, you know? Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, let's open up the Near East map, shall we? 
um, and find the box. Um, All right. So, uh, I'll just put them on the map, I think. So. I, if you take your, I just put mine on like the far right of the cup, you know. Uh, oh right, yes, um, yeah. Just uh, organize me. I'll go here. Hmm. Netflix emailed me and said, what's next, Patrick? What's next to watch? And I'm like, nothing, because there's nothing bloody worth anything on Netflix right now. Oh, I don't have Netflix. Um, so can't help miss, you, out. you aren't missing much right now. So allied, uh, allied scenes. Okay, there's some more. Uh, okay, they're not on the near east. So, um, let's close down that map. Sorry, they're a little bit uh, distributed through the uh, the list of events. Yes. So, so I'm kind of coming across more and more of them. Um, those uh, yeah they're just kind of randomly two. placed on the list i had the same yeah. issue so i think I might... okay oh yeah i had those two okay gee let's just go through it again make sure i've missed anything well, I evidently missed quite a few Near East ones, having been through the last twice. I think I've got them now. So, Allied Draw Cup. Let's bring that up here. Bit of an expansion. And so, oops. It's a little bit of playing about here. Sorry, folks. Um, I draw a cup. Oh, that's his age. Wait a minute. Uh, that's his age. I was going to say these look a bit, a bit too. His age. Do you want to check the back of yours? Because. Those ones are H. I've got some C's here. It's marked as C, but these are H's. Um, uh, that's his H. They're marked as H when you throw them in the cup. Yeah, I'm wondering, are they meant to be marked as C on them? Let me just flip. flip. Oh, no, they are allied C. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, uh, I'm suspicious. I'm just checking them. Okay. Uh, I seem to have a hell of a lot of aircraft units. As do I. Yeah. That's, That's a thing. Okay, I'll believe it now. That one there. there. And let me just bring back the Near East. So I can, oh, uh, there was a couple, of, a couple I needed to put to the side. Uh, oh, well, there was two there. Uh, hmm. 
I'm missing one because I feel like brought two of those. Uh, let's bring all these. Uh, and I need to pop back here because there's one missing. Um, oh, we get a lot of resources this turn too, don't we? Um, well, some of us. <laughs> it starts to ramp up, certainly. Um, okay, so... Look at these guys. Yeah, okay. Right, so that's the draw cup done. Uh, where are we on to next? Um, all resource points due this turn for the various non-neutral countries. So um, that's at the uh, bottom of. Uh, okay, so um, who do we have here? So, uh, right, so it's a strategic turn C. So the Austrians get eight. Uh, the Germans, 12. 12, and then they get the... Um, and then they get the other, your four, whatever counters you have. I think it's four, isn't it? Uh, long, I long. Yeah, I believe so. Yep. Yes, yeah, other counters are on there. Yeah. Between then, Mons, Long Gui and Mons, yeah. Okay. Uh, then, um, okay. Um, that's it for you, I think. I get, yeah. oh, I don't get two Belgian, of course. I get two British. Oh, I'll move them. I got you. If you may. Yeah, thanks. Uh, six French. Ten Russian. Uh huh. And two Serb. All right, they're laid out. Okay, so we have that. And then... Uh, we receive additional RPs on the Near East map. Um, yeah, let's not worry about that for now. Uh, no country receives RPs while neutral. Okay. If the total number of RPs available... Oh, no, no, no. no. Um, all supplied... No, uh, all supplied to the headquarters would be flipped back, but it's strategic turn C, so they're not. This is right. the last turn where they're not flipped back. So in the next strategic turn and onwards from then, they would be um, uh, they would be uh, uh, flipped back. Um, okay. Done the resource hexes. Right. Um, okay, so resource, resource point transfers. So I can transfer... Um, up to six British and or French resource points to Russia in every resource phase. Um, while it's well, while continental, uh, while Turkey surrenders, but that special rule that Turkey hesitates means that I can sail through the straits. Uh, so I could add the, give the Russians some more. I think um, I haven't got any British casualties, so I'm going to give the two Brits ones to the Russians. So the Russians got the 12. Uh, and um, there's no Salonika, so I can't do um, do anything for Serbia. Uh, six up to six German resource points may be transferred to any other power, like Austria-Hungary. We are going to give four to the Austro-Hungarians. Okay. And emergency replacements. So before player, uh, so before my mutiny event. Um, I can do emergency replacements by giving you a VP. Where are the VPs at the moment? Seven. Um, I have to count up, but so a turkey comes in in ten. So I might actually do that. Yes, yeah, so I'll do some emergency replacements for the French. Um, so I give you a VP, and I then. Uh, I roll two dice, and it's the dice or seven, whichever is less. 
So uh, we'll do that roll. Bring this across. So everybody can see it and do two dice. Five and four is nine, so it's seven. So I get seven extra points. Can the Germans do that yet or no? Or the Austrians? Um, uh, the Austrians can never do it. The Germans can do it, it from 1915 to 17. So next to Virginia Invasion will be able to do it. All know. right. Or is uh, it 1915? Yes. Now? now? Uh, no, because the, the 1915 starts the operational turn. Of Got Germany. it. All right. So um, how many was it? It was seven, wasn't it? Points? Yep. Seven. Uh, seven. So that goes up to 13. Look a lot more healthier. Right. Uh, strategic warfare. Um, there is none. That's all about that, no U boats. Um, there, no strategic bombing. There's no air raids because um, there's no events in there. Um, I haven't got independent air force, and so now it's strategic bombing. So replacement phase. So um, we spend our peas to bring back units. Dead guys. All right. Let me go through here. So, but then we would want to spend them also for events later uh yes so we need to think about that all right well we'll start with the austrians uh, let's just have a look at that on the uh the events phase during Right. Have a quick look at 6.0 and see what it says. You need to spend a resource point to purchase two events. You examine the two and uh, yeah. And yeah, you so there are mandatory events. And they have a yellow stripe marker. Um, must be played immediately. May be played at any time at the only player's option. Okay, if if one side purchases events and the other doesn't, the side that did spend can spend another resource point and draw two events from the other player's event pool. Whoa. And remove them from the game. Oh, right. Um, only no event markers are returned to the pool. Uh, okay, so you should leave yourself with two resource points to spend. Okay. Um, right, let's. Uh, oh, sorry, you're you're doing your thing. Um, I need to zoom in on mine. Let's see what we can build here. So. So we'll certainly spend the serb. So, uh, yeah. I will start placing an Austria and it's only France, Britain and Germany can do the headquarters thing, right? Uh, so no you can do the headquarters thing what you can't do is you can't spread them around you have to pick a hex either the hex the hq is in or a hex adjacent but only one hex to put all your enforcements in so you can you can only ever put six but with the british french and the germans you can spread them around right between those sort of six seven hexes isn't it um everybody else has to stick in a single hex um 
So uh, while you're doing that, I'm just going to move markers here. So uh, set to get down by one. Um, let's see if I can zoom out. Uh, and reinforcements can only be placed either adjacent to a head, the headquarters thing or on it or in a city or, or in a city in a friendly city in your home nation not a town uh, no just a city i'm pretty sure it's just okay. a city um i'll check but i believe that's uh but you don't, you don't put them on yet sorry you only you put them on in the new units phase of the next operational term all you do is you put them in the boxes in your in your available units box so buy them now oh i'm done yeah yeah um so okay i'll i'll uh let me just do my thing then uh, i'll zoom back in yeah don't uh don't put them on the board yet uh one two three four five six seven seven uh, And eight, so we have four now. Um, now the, f the British, I'm going to spend the French. French now. Right, thirteen. All the Russians and the Britain bring in. So we stick these guys up. Back up to the top. Go for another couple of Russians. Mm, no, I think that will do for the moment. Okay, um, so the French. Uh, spent all, all of them, didn't it? So there we go. Right. Okay, so I've done the replacement phase. Um, blah, blah, blah. And uh, next, uh, Russian Revolution's phase. No, nothing happening there yet. Um, oh, you actually do do the roll. There's a big negative on it. So, during the rough and loose phase, every strategic turn, central player rolls the dice. To this number, he adds the number of cities under his control in Russia and Russian Poland, which is zero. Um, if 11 or greater uh, is rolled, then the revolution has occurred. But on strategic turns, A to G is a minus two on the... Uh, so it's impossible. It's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. And minus one for a city, central power city under Russian control, which is Königsberg. So yeah, it's impossible. Just thought I'd check though. Uh, okay. Fortress surrender phase. Okay. So uh, fourteen, fifteen. I have to go to a different part of the. I think there's only one that's eligible, and that's Mauberge. Uh Well, you've got lots in the uh, in the east. I think. Are, are uh, they surround? Yeah, yeah, they're I, surrounded too. Around. Yeah, so uh, surrender trenches. Uh, forts and any units in them solely on fortress supply may surrender under certain circumstances. Roll a die during the fortress surrender phase. Every strategic turn after turn C for each fort and hex on fortress supply. At least as many enemy units adjacent to it as there are friendly units in the fortress hex. On a result of four, five, or six, the fortress surrenders, so it's a 50 50. Here comes Mauberge. Surrenders. Okay, and I'll do Lotson. Does not surrender. Right, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> I will send these guys to your um, yeah, if you AUB. Want. Yep, there you go. Yeah. 
So that's clearing out your rear area. Um, okay, so Fortress Surrender done. Um, I think we're probably near the end of this. Uh, and uh, anything else to do? Fortress Surrender, Turkish Surrender. Um, yes, and, uh, initiative determination. So now you decide what map you have initiative on, whether it's west or east. And once you've done that, then you fight, uh, then you declare whether you're having OHL or Oberost on your look marker. We shall go first in the east. Oh, okay. And we shall have Oberost. Okay, so the, the uh, attention is coming across to, to the Russians. Um, kind of what the Russians were trying to trying to get happen, really. Um, okay, so initial determination, that's fine. Uh, OHL are done, and uh, that's it. That's it for the strategic turn. So we're all ready to go. So hopefully nobody's fallen asleep. Uh, let let us enter the operational turn. Okay. Um, so you're going first on the I'm going first on the west. Oh, this is, uh, feels a bit different. Um, okay, so the first thing that happens before we do those is the weather determination and the events. So I think it's events first, actually. So let's uh, just check that. Um, sequence of play for... So first thing is events phase. So we may spend an RP. I am spending an RP. And so am I. And I will draw two. Um, two chits out of the cup. So that one and that one. Okay. And so what happens? You pick one? Um, so, uh, well, you pick one. You decide whether you want to keep it or immediately play it. Or if it's mandatory, you have to play it. It's got a yellow stripe on it. Right, and then you pick a second one and do that decision as well. So um, neither of mine are. I'm going to keep both of mine. I am going to keep both of mine. Um, probably need to look them up in the rulebook. There's a great big chunk of the rulebook which is dedicated to these events. Um, I'll have a quick look at mine. Events. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so once we've done that, I think it's weather next. Uh, uh, no, you, new units now. Uh, so I placed mine first. Well, I so I got an air unit, which I need to place now. No, you get no. to use it during the, So you, you use it to, um, uh, to uh, modify combat in the, uh, uh, on the west map. If it's just a normal air unit, um, it'll all... tell it'll tell me if it's an eastern one, right? Yeah, there's a, there's a special one called e, um, uh, air unit east or something like that. Um, all right. Uh, so I will I'll just place it to be available on the west map. Yeah. I'll keep so... it up by Antwerp, like everything else, like I do with Oberost. All right. All right. Well, I don't, I don't think you need to let me know you've got one, but uh, anyway. Uh, well, I'll forget. No. Yeah, the CP East Air event is the one that you can use on the Eastern Front, and there are Near East Air events, which are for the Near East, of course. Everything else is on the West. Um, right. Uh, so weather. Um, weather is... I'll roll a D6, and I bet you it's... I rolled a 1, so it's probably crappy. Uh, so let's see, I think, let's see that there can, there might not be variability. So, uh, we need to move the turn marker on anyway, because we're now in, uh, Jan, Feb. No, you didn't need to roll. It's snow, both at 
both maps have snow, uh, so there's no need to roll. Um, and just a reminder of what that does. Um, it's whether 12, so weather gives snow is uh, lake hexides may be crossed uh, mountain passes two moving points um, just a bit basically just like other mountains uh, units and alpine hexes may neither be attacked nor attacked by attack or attacked units defending in forest mountain and mountain pass get the same column shifts for wet so you get a shift and that's kind of it okay yeah, so, so really it's just forest gives you a shift all uh, right that's, that's really the upshot i think and um yeah new units we need new, to do so let me work the east and okay. you work the west so we don't nudge each other uh, okay i need to grab my yeah. guys, guys go ahead go ahead from, from that so i'm doing west first okay so these guys okay yep i'm all on the west now all righty then me one sec on the west to grab the germans yeah and plop them up 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 no oh, sorry yep. yep 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 all right okay go ahead let me oh uh, oops. oh he's a reinforcement all right okay uh so, don't mind building it.
Okay, yeah, I'm placed in the west. So, should we do a swap, or are you done? Are you not done? I am not done. Okay. All right. And we may swap. Uh, okay. I served there. What did I forget? Oh. No. I need questions. So, so. Seem to have lost my. Uh, oh, there he is. Uh, okay. Up, up! I do have more in the east. Let me do that real quick, and I shall be done. Okay. Should one of us be doing going first or second in this process? Or I, I'm I'm supposed to be going first on all maps. But... Oh, all right. Here. Kind of doesn't matter because I have the initiative. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah exactly. All right, I'm done. Uh, okay, I've got some, got some near east guys here. I need to take care of them, I realize.
What do you need? About five more minutes, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. All right, all right, all right. I've just got right. some um, Miri stuff to do here. Which... Don't worry about it. I'll be back. Okay. Um, so, uh, is 13. So, okay. I like Near East restrictions. these guys to place and that was a city. Well, I can see these guys. Okay, that's done. Right, and I uh, don't need that for the moment. Okay, uh, the rest.
Right. Okay, so I think we're just about ready to go on the new units, done the weather, and uh, first week your movement phase. Okay. Uh, so. And take a look at the stream. Um, right. Uh, I'm on the west, so I might as well crack on and see how we go. So it's slow at the moment. So I'm just checking about snow. Okay, mar okay, floodplains aren't marshes anymore. All right, I'm back. Okay. Question. Yeah, I just started moving on the west, but yeah, Karen. Yes. Did the did the entrenchment levels change? Oh, uh, that's point. Uh, good, good question. Um, probably, yeah. Uh, uh, trenches. Trenches. Okay, it's turn C. Right. Uh, okay. For the central power two markers, uh, so not on the central markers. That's uh, a central power side. So on two turn B angle right there. Uh, French marker moves to a minus one box. Yeah. There and there it goes. Okay. So, yeah. Well, well remembered. Well remembered. Um, All right. Yep. Yeah, you do the west. I'll do the east. I'm yeah. on it.
Okay, I think I'm done. Uh, I am done in the east. Well, no, I may not be done in the east. Let me see. I am done in the east. Okay. Right, so attacks in the west. So I'll start All on the top right. of the line. So uh, the British are going to have another go at Abbeville. Okay. Um, so we have, um, well, you are three and nine, 12. Uh, I'm three, six, twelve, twelve, and fourteen, twenty-six. It sounds like a two to one. I'm in Marsh. Yeah, and I'm using an HQ. All right. So it's a two to one. Minus one for trenches. Yeah, minus one for trenches. So, uh, let me just get me a um, uh, chart. Uh, and you know what? We're going to play our aircraft here. Okay. An extra minus one. Uh, Are those chits one use or they're always available? So, the, um, the air unit ones, I think, are once per turn. Got it. I think you've got ace ones as well, which are once per turn as well, but they've got a chance of disappearing. Got it. Okay. So, right. so um, it's on two to one minus two. Two to one minus two. Doesn't sound too good, but let's try it. Oh. Okay, two ones and a two on Advil. That's great fun. <laughs> okay, two yeah. zero. So, okay. Did I lose a damn thing or no? Nope. Uh, that'll teach me. Um... Okay, there's that one. Uh, and then we have an attack uh, where we tried last turn next to the Sun River. Um, this turn was no. It's not marsh, it's just floodplain, it's frozen over. So 
You have six. I have 11, 11, uh, 21 to six. That's three to one. Which hex is this? Uh, this is the cavalry unit next to the river against the British. It's opposite my HQ. I think it's the Bavarian cavalry unit. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh down from the coast on your line. All right, yep, yeah, yep, six, six defending. Yeah, so I have, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so 21 to six, so it's three to one on there, uh, minus one. And um, I think. I might use an air unit as well. So, uh, there you come in to make it a plus one. Okay. Uh, so that's currently three to one plus one. Yeah. A three to one plus one? Is it a. Oh, well, I zero, can't... actually. Zero yeah, I can, minus yeah. one for trades plus one for the right. unit. Right. Okay. So uh, three to one straight up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's a two one. Pulling by the bridge there again. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I can't see the. I just see the H. You have to unmask it. Oh, sorry. Uh, flip. Oh, no. no that's oh, uh, unhide. Yep. Can you see it there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So there's a there's a thing that says hide, which is used yes. to unhide. <laughs> uh, right. So he goes back. Used. And. Um, Okay, where else? So we've got... Right, we have an attack um, by the French near Laon. Uh, across the river there, so... Um, it's uh, not quite next to your HQ, just two along uh, further to the east. This guy here? That's, that's the guy, yeah. I think there's just one guy in there. Four, yeah. So yep. I've got... Uh, 12 and uh, so it's 3 to 1 HQ makes it 4 to 1 and attacking across the river doesn't mean anything right uh, it's no it does for snow I think you um, it was the same as wet wasn't it uh, let me just yep. I think it was uh, one left so we're at 3 to 1 right yeah so three to one minus one. Right. Okay. Three to one minus one. Ah. <laughs> two oh. one. You didn't even need the minus ones. Uh, so. So, so it's a two one. Okay. Yeah. I'm not advancing. Okay, further along again. So. Right, so we were attacking near Chalon. So the 10th division, it's the guys that are sticking out. Right. Uh, so you are 4812. Yep. I am 369. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, and 9 is 25, 25, and 9 is 34, uh, 34, and 9 is 43, 12, so that's 3 to 1. Right. 3 to 1, and I'm making it a 4 to 1 with the French unit, uh, with, with, with the HQ. Okay. 
Oh god, I just eliminated him. Hang on. <laughs> Oops. Uh, have that back. Uh, let me flip him. Thank you. Um, four to one minus one. Four to one minus one, and we will put another air unit in. All right, so four to one even. Four to one even. Please let it not be a one. Ah, sublime to ridiculous. Uh, okay, so um, that is, uh, what is that? Uh, four to one, that's an E. They're gone. So you attacked with everyone surrounding him, I take it? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. So. Map has moved. Um, okay, and we will move in. Yeah. Update. It might be uh, a use one strategic turn. I'm not sure, but I'll I'll, I'll have to check that um, for the air units. Um, okay, and I think oh no, it's not quite, is it quite it. No, yeah. So uh, near Morange, you've got your um, uh, guy next to Morange. Uh, this chat here, right. You're four. I'm worth uh, 12. So that's three to one. Um, minus one. Right. Uh, back to the two, two, one. I will not advance. Well, it was very good in Shalom, but the rest of it was an absolute shell. Okay, um, that's all my attacks. So over in the east, uh, we uh, do it. Over to the east. I think we'll start. It, we will start in Serbia. Serbia. Okay. Lots of stuff going on there. So we'll start off by attacking Petch. Yeah. With um, two, five, eight, eleven, fourteen. So we've got a seven to one. And we're not. A, just, just, a, just a quick thing. How, how are you getting supplied to some of these guys? See the headquarters? Yeah, he does adjacent. One. Oh, he just does adjacent? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we shall do this. So you got two. I uh, don't need them. It's just Budapest and your HQ. So, yeah. A lot of your guys are out. All right. right now. Hold on there. Hold on. One, two, three. Probably one is. Was... Yep, yep, yep. I hear you. So we're going to do this well, your hq wasn't in budapest to start off with was he no he was not okay so you can move him a bit forward at least anyway yeah. the guys on the other flank are in a bit of trouble as well so. so he's gonna go there which then means these guys can go there yes and one one two three four that's the limit so yeah, yeah. indeed so okay. go for it. Yeah. We are going to let's see. Five. The same. Eleven. Nope. A little different. Okay. And we're gonna attack with eleven. 
which is going to make this a five to one. Five to one. And let me look at the chart. Which means it, I'll take it, which is all I care about. Yep. So here we go. A three. Three and five to one. Uh, I'm bad if you don't lose me. Okay, you may advance. Yeah. Finally, some Austrian reinforcements down in the south. Yes, and now we shall attack. You need to be a little careful on the guys on the other flank as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at that. I'm looking at that. They, they all have to back off. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yep. You're, you're, you're okay. The hex you just moved, you're okay with, because that's the Bretson is four. So that, that hex is legal. That's fine. Yeah. It just can't go any further. One, two. This one here. Yeah. That one, that one's fine. Now, now that one's fine. Can't go any further, though. All right. So we are going to now attack this guy yes with or well, that hex with these guys yes so that is nine on two is a four to one mm -hmm. and here we go a four uh, so that's four four yeah so you don't lose anything okay and they shall advance there oh just remember did you play your Oberos this turn yes yeah. but it, that can only it. be played on the germans right oh absolutely um but you need to play at the end of your movement phase right but all right don't, don't worry carry on just just remember that you, you had that you're gonna play it it's within two hexes so we're gonna play it yeah. there all right okay. so that's that. And now, let's see, three. These guys are going to attack to the south. Well, won't be able to have any supply there. So what we're going to do is everyone who's adjacent to these guys is going to attack them. Yep. And okay. that's 9, 11, 14 is evidently attacking 4. Yes. So that is a 3 to 1. And we are going to play... interesting yes we're going to use chlorine gas oh i'll give you a plus one plus two plus two is it oh. yes yeah do you want to flip it uh do you want to unhide it just for the oh here you go the watchers okay okay so the austrians start the gas war Yes, and so that is so it is a three to one plus two. Here we go. Two, that's a five. Uh, which is almost, that's an E. No, zero three. That's the same difference. Okay. And you may advance, of course. And I think I've caused enough damage to the Serbians for now. Mm -hmm. should, should probably make them run. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And let's see. So that's that. Strategic moves come after combat, correct? Uh, strategic moves come after all the moves and combats. Okay, right. So, all right. So up. 
up to the Germans aren't really going to be quite as aggressive as they have been in the past, but they're going to be a little aggressive. So let's see here. Beijing aggressiveness. The ca that cavalry unit in the south, we're going to attack that with a six to one. Oh, you mean me. So uh, Aus Austrians and Germans. Yes. They, they don't attack together unless you have a special HQ. Oh, uh, right. So switch, switch around to German and that. We're going to, well, we're going to do an attack with the Austrians first. Oh, okay. On that one six. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think we'll do an attack with the Germans. So right. that's, you, you, you won't be able to attack twice. Right. So, so that's attack hex once. Yeah. So that's going to be a three to one. It is. Oh, okay. Attacking by that, the Germans is a three. Three oh, to one is we both die. Uh, yes. Okay, thank you. And yeah, so there's an HQ, the Sud HQ. Yes. I think it's the one that allows you to combine Austrians and Germans together. And let's see. And I think I wanted to move him up. Sorry about that. HQ. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, but I still, I really don't have any more attacks against the Russians. Uh, okay, you were over Rost. Yeah, up. I'm still thinking about it. Uh, yeah, everybody adjacent to this salient. You might, you might as well save that over Rost for next turn if you're not going to use it. Yeah, we're not going to use it. Yeah. All right. And. Yep, and we have no more attacks. So, uh, on the Galician front, fairly well. No, started. we've we've beefed up, but we're eager to let you butt your head against a wall. Uh, okay, all right. So uh, we're on to the. Uh, I'm on the east. You're on the west. Uh, with, right. Uh, we're we're on half. An hour and a half at the moment. So let's save. Yes. Yeah, let's save here. I think. So this uh, is save game as... So yeah, the um, resume of the turn is that um, the British failed abysmally yet again. Uh, the French got quite a victory over in uh, near Chalon to stabilize the line. And uh, the Serbians got what was coming to them. And um, that's it so far. Yep. And we saw, some, we saw some aircraft and we saw chlorine gas being used by the Austrians. Yes. Base. Yes. So, so there we go. Yes. They right. are. That is it. I've saved. Okie dokie. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So I think that chlorine gas, I think, is a kind of one use thing because the assumption is that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ne the next the next use the, 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 the everybody's now using it so it kind of evens out kind of thing i think is the the idea and there's defenses against it and stuff it's that first first use chit i think um but i will i'll have a look at those some of the event chits here so to make sure we're doing the right things here but so far I'm, I'm pretty sure everything's fine so far it's just what do we do with the chits afterwards and that kind of stuff but they, there is some variation yeah but it's, yeah. it's permanently removed then there's a phosgene and mustard yeah, 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 three, exactly. the, yeah. The three gases which do the same kind of thing, yeah. Great, okay. So, uh, right. Um, so that'll be it for this evening, for Tweets yeah. Thursday. So, um, uh, yeah, thanks, uh, thanks everybody for, for watching. Um, hope you'll come and uh, see what's going to happen on Tuesday next week uh, for the Tweets Tuesday for the uh, second half of that turn. So it's a little bit slow. There was quite a lot to do on that um, strategic, strategic track. track. Yeah. yeah, indeed. But anyway, thanks for thanks for coming. Um, last word to you, Pat. Um, word.
See everybody on Tuesday. Okay. Thanks a lot, everybody.